I guess I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Uh oh. <laughs> Indiana Jones. Oh, this picture. Oh, his face. Look, it's his face. He's got right two here. lines for eyes. I bet I said that already. That was me who said it, but whatever. It's fine. No, I think I said it. Okay. I just said it now. I'll just pull up the video then. Oh, look at those breastuses. Good. Uh, yeah, look at this guy's breasts. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well defined. McDonald. Uh, th just then, a massive metal door opened, appeared before. Oh, me. could I take your order? order? Can I take your order, sir? I'm not doing this bit again. Oh, uh, I'll have a, a five piece <laughs> chicken McMuffin. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> I'm doing McDonald's bit again, G. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> that, what was the other thing I said? God damn it. You said, uh, you said, oh my oh god. god. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> you didn't whisper, fuck me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking no. You especially didn't tell Jesus to do it. <laughs> Is the Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan Jesus Borat? He's not real. He's it real in Kazakhstan. my mind. That's yeah. all that matters. Why did you say Kazakhstan? Kazakh Kazakhstan. That was so American of you. Kazakhstan. You're the guy who corrects. I know, us right? You speak Russian. How did I just say it? Kazakhstan. 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 Kazakhstan? That it's doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. Kazakhstan. Kaza. Kaz Kazakhstan. Oh my gosh. That doesn't sound right to me. Yeah. Whatever, keep going. Okay. Cried Slavia softly. Cut that out, please. <laughs> 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 the hole was not shallow enough for us to climb out afterwards, so at first sight, there was nothing to be afraid of. Alright, let's end the video. <laughs> yep. Spent six here. minutes. <laughs> Forks. Left, 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 left. What's behind it? Oh, like I know. <laughs> We're just about to find out, baby. Shriek. Oh. I was running the flashlight's beam around the room, trying to check every part of it. When suddenly, ah, uh, um, we're not the scary part. <laughs> I found Shriek curled up in a corner. Shriek? Cried Slavia. Oh, it looked as if he was not paying any attention to us. Really? He's looking right at us. Here you are. We've been looking for you all night. Why in the world did you come here? Shriek looked up at me with hazy, unseeing eyes. And you are you. What do you mean, who are you? Get up already and let's go. I'm not going anywhere with you. Shriek turned away and stared into the darkness again. You want to trick me again? You make me go in circles with you don't want you. Yes, you will. I know you for what you are. Shriek's voice turned into an infernal whisper. Cut this nonsense out already. I wanted to approach him and pull him upright, but Slavia stopped me. He's not quite himself. Well, I'm not quite myself either. You wander here all night, you sure won't be quite yourself. She shook her head reproachfully and slowly went up to Shriek while carefully staying in the light. It's alright, it's me, Slavia. For real? Oh, he's crying. Shriek looked at her and immediately started sobbing quietly. Of course, who else would it be? And that's Simeon with me. I came here to find you. Everything's fine now. Are you really not them? Certainly not. We're us. He tried to get up, but he was apparently disoriented when a fallen, if not for Slavia, who caught him by the arm. Easy there. Careful. When they came up to me, I said, Alright, time to get out of here. We can't go back. Back where? Into the mine? Yes. Shriek was speaking calmly, but at the same, his voice was trembling slightly. Why is that? It's where the they are. Who are they? The voices. What voices? I started to lose my patience. This place and the situation certainly weren't normal. But if there had been anything paranormal here then, by the laws of horror or cinema, it should have long since showed its face by now. Calm down, Shriek. Just tell us everything in detail. I took a few deep breaths and started. <gasps> I 
the gift was for a prize for the robot. They heard that there was a bomb shelter in the old camp, and there's usually a lot of different equipment in the bomb shelters. It's old, of course, but we're disassembling. You can always find coals and resistors. <gasps> so I went early in the morning. I thought I could find this quickly and get back there breakfast. I got everything I needed. He took some light bulbs and wires out of his pocket and showed them to us. But then, up there in the bomb shelter, I heard some sounds from behind the door. Something like moans and wailing. Oh, that was just us in Slavia. <laughs> Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> At first I got scared, but then I thought that a person could be in danger, so I went there. And here was his mind, this damn maze. I got completely lost in the voices. The voices always tell me something. Sometimes shouting, sometimes whispering. I can never make out the words. He was ready to burst into tears, but Slavia patted him gently on the head and Shrek continued. Fudge. Anyway, I found his room. At least the air you can't hear his <laughs> Anyway, shortcut. A shortcut? Yeah, you know, I want to live in this place. Well, I for one think he should go see a psychiatrist. Guess he should. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to go to bed. You bet your ass is time to go to bed. <laughs> Go to my bed. <laughs> While in my head, but as soon as it started today, I was in a consciousness. Was going to bed. <laughs> At least I try to read my stuff. It's stuff we've read a billion times. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I don't want to read the same thing a billion flipping times. Miku Miko was just dancing in front of us. Uh, the best picture in the game. What? Really? Oh, was it that picture? You missed it, bro. I don't, I don't even need to see it, I know what you mean. <laughs> Is this the first time we're not gonna have to go and look at what they're arguing about? Do nothing, just stay seated. Thank God! We always go to them. I wasn't alone here. The pioneer uniform was lying on the sand. Girls won. But no one seemed to be swimming in the water. I almost thought it was some new devilry when suddenly a voice came from behind. Skipping out on the hike? I thought you were still in the woods. Turn around and oh, saw Slavia. Yeah. <laughs> well, to leave like that. Well, I'm not a robot that can only act according to a predefined de program. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever feel that you're not where you belong? I don't know. More precisely, not where you're meant to be at all. As if thousands of kilometers away from home, or even in another galaxy. I don't understand you. We're similar in this. I lay down on my back and look at the stars. And what would you think if I told you that I'm an alien from the future? Are you? Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> she was very serious. Well, let's assume I am. How should I return to my time? Do you really want to? <laughs> yeah, all the conversations with her that have to do with my situation, the slightest hints of it always end up in the same place. It's like she's offering me a chance to stay. Almost insisting on it. Well, let's say that I'm not sure. There, as we could call it. Everything is like home to me. Or rather, more familiar. Practically everything is known to me and I'm prepared for any situation. And here it's the other way around. Literally every little thing comes as a surprise. Everything's... different. Literally. Is it really that bad? It literally... I wouldn't call it like literally bad. Unfamiliar. Unclear. Literally unclear. Sometimes be be <laughs> sometimes it can be hard to literally change something, especially for people with literally like my personality. Like, but what do you really want? Like to start with, I can't literally answer that question until I like find out where literally here is. <laughs> <laughs> then go and find out. <laughs> like, if only it was that literally easy. <laughs> Like, but what's so literally difficult about it? 
Well, like, literally everything's difficult. I don't even know where to literally start. And I'm constantly being distracted. And I'm literally being distracted. You are talking about it so seriously. It's almost like it's all real. <laughs> <laughs> like, who knows? Pretty long silence followed. Suddenly she sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Good transition. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing transition. <laughs> Saved by the sneeze. <laughs> Else it would have been more cool. It wasn't a good idea to swim at night. You could get ill. Hurry to your cabin. It's cold out here. It's nothing. I'd rather sit here with you a bit more. Now let me just dress. Oh no or need. Dress. <laughs> <laughs> no need, baby. Uh, 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 flattered. Damn, that's quick. <laughs> Let's go. I'll walk you. We didn't even walk a dozen steps before Slavia grasped my arm. What's the matter? Oh, I suddenly felt dizzy. I touched her forehead. It was burning. I was never able to measure body temperature by touch, but in this case, it was obvious. I told you. You idiot. Bantu! <laughs> come on, come on. A German sneeze. Achtung! <laughs> Achtung! <laughs> no, I could infect Zenya. Listen, we better go to the infirmary. And what would you do in the infirmary at night alone? That's nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. If you don't want to help, I'll go by myself. Like all my hand was ready to leave. Don't get upset. Put this on, it's cold. I handed her my sweater, which I'd brought with me on the hike. Finally found some use for it, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> it's called the jacket a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's, he's calling himself it because he brought it. Oh, nice I Nice job, Simeon. Nice job. He pats himself good on the boy. head. You want a treat? <laughs> What's this? Jesus Christ. Oh, we're 38 minutes in. Those are some nice tata. <laughs> <laughs> didn't get that. You didn't get to say that in the video. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Good artist. Whoever did Amazing them. artist. Fantastic tatas.